Hello friends and welcome to the channel. So the first transition I'm going to show you is a seamless transition. On which you can't even tell how and where it joins together. So I have these two clips here that I want to join together in a creative way. So usually, for transitions like these, you just have to have an idea and then use the tools that we have in Wondershare Filmora to create something satisfying. Whenever you make up an idea of a seamless transition, you must consider your clips. Sometimes you must even color grade the clips with the same tone so that a change won't be easily noticed. So just relax, I will show you everything I did, including the effects and speed ramping. So you split your first clip where you want your transition to start. In my case, I want it to start here when the plane has passed the center of the frame. Now add a keyframe to the first frame of the first clip. And on the last frame, I will increase the scale to 400. Then increase the rotation to something like 54. And then make some adjustments on the preview screen, like this. Now copy this last keyframe and paste it on the first frame of the next clip. But if the version of Filmora that you are using cannot copy keyframes, you just have to add a keyframe and put these same properties on this keyframe. Now the next thing is to double click the second clip and go mask. Add a rectangle mask. Reduce the size. Position it in the center of the frame. You can adjust the radius to something like this to make it almost a circle. And that means you even use a circle mask. Now you increase the blur to something like 12. And then reduce the scale to 1. After that, you invert the mask and then add a keyframe for these properties. Now after something like 4 seconds, increase the blur to around 70 and then the scale to around 120. And it brings up something like this. Now drag down your next clip under this video with a mask. Now I'm going to zoom my second clip, and what I'm doing here is to match my clips. As you can see here, I would like to use this blue portion for a perfect match. So in your case, your clips may be different, but the mask will still take care of that. Now before we see our final preview, let's add the speed ramping and effects, and don't forget we still have one more mask transition before we end this video. So for that, we have to export this and bring it back. Delete this and drag the exported video. And here, we want our clip to start slow and speed up as it reaches the transition point, then smoothly go down. So I'm gonna do it like this. So here you can play around with your ramping according to your clips. After this, let's go to the effects. Search for the rotation blur. So here I will move my playhead to the middle of the effect, increase the blur intensity to around 13, and add a keyframe. On the first frame, set it to 0, and also on the last frame set it to 0. So now here is our final preview. Our next transition is just in a few simple steps. Here I have these two clips, a drone shot panning to the city, and then a woman in the city. So we will zoom this drone shot out of the woman's sunglasses. So this time we will start with speed ramping the first clip. Just as we did on the first clip, we need to increase the speed as the transition point approaches. So here I will do it like this.
Now the next big thing we must do is mask the woman's glasses. In my case, my actor is wearing round glasses, which means I can use a circle mask. But if you have another clip like this or another shape, a circle mask won't work. You will have to use a draw mask. However, both of these masks will take a very long time because you will have to adjust the keyframes on every frame, which can delay your projects. So we are going to mask the smart cutout. Select the video and go to AI Tools, then open the Smart Cutout. Now I select this portion, at least for 5 frames. Then after that, I go to Advanced. Then click here for auto tracking. You can correct some mistakes that could have been made as the AI was tracking your mask. After that, you adjust the edge thickness as well as the feather. Invert the mask from here and then save. So we have something like this. Now add a keyframe on the first frame of this second video. Increase the scale to zoom through until it opens the full frame. Now after some frames, reset the transform. So we have something like this. Now as you can see our animation is too slow when it start and then too fast on the end. The reason is, in this version of Filmora, we do not have the keyframing curves, which means we can't control our keyframe speed. So in order to help with that, we are still going to use speed ramping. So here we want to increase the starting speed, and reduce it just after some frames, just to try to balance the animation speed. Now let's go to effects, search for zoom blur. I will reduce the blur at the start. Increase it in the middle. And then reduce it at the end. Now we are going to slightly blur this clip as it comes through the sunglasses. So we just have to add a square blur for that. Reduce it to 1. Now let's render to check out the final preview. So if you like more tutorials like this, you can support the channel by subscribing and liking the video.